Hello for YouTubers, Failure Team. Welcome to the 13th stage of this year's Tour of France. It's gonna be from Pau to Lusa Dis. And it's gonna be a yeah, it's gonna be a relatively flat stage. I know there's a big mountain in the in this middle of the mount, uh, of the stage, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna do anything because the big competitors won't go for anything on it because they wanna rest their powers for tomorrow. So I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a breakaway, a massive breakaway who's gonna win this one. So at least I hope for some Danish riders to get in the breakaway. I think that this stage is gonna end in a mass, not a mass sprint, but a mass breakaway who's gonna win. And I think that it's gonna be some big guys who goes in the breakaway. Maybe some of the big sprinters like Tour Hussold and and I also think that some of the French riders like Jérôme Pinot and Jolant and Mon Q Tip. I know he he was on a breakaway yesterday, but maybe he can do it today again. So it's gonna. I think it's gonna be for the Frenchies or some of the good right Frenchies. Yeah, I call them the Frenchies, but some of the good sprinters who's gonna go f try for a breakaway. Maybe Husso can do like last year when he d he did he go on a breakaway on a one one of the most hard stages and he got like a lot of point to his green jersey. So I hope, I really hope that last back and to Husso go on a breakaway and last back win. But yeah, it's just dream. Hello for Lucha, what's Felix here? And uh, I forgot it again! <laughs> this is the second time I have to say this. Hello for Lucha, what's Felix here? Welcome to the 13th stage of this year's Tour of France. Now I said it really, really, really fucking fast. But yeah, this time I actually recorded who I, who I think is gonna win first before I recorded this, so... I'm just not used to doing this anymore. <laughs> but today it's gonna be quite storming, I think. But this is gonna be a hard task for some of our riders, but... At least I don't hope that they go, go out of the time limit. <laughs> but yeah, I think that our chance of winning this year's Tour of France is almost gone because Andy Slick just show He's showing really sick powers that I didn't think he got, but a second or third place would be good for me too because I don't really play Pro Cycling Manager that much, but see you when the race starts. East towards Lourdes. It's difficult to predict what will happen over the course of the 156 kilometers because there is only one climb whose summit is placed with one third of the race still to go. Of course, the Col d'Obisque is no ordinary climb, but it is within the scope of many riders, and with 50 kilometers between summit and finish, we could see an interesting race towards the line. To watch the line. I actually noticed that in in the favorites, they said that Sanchez is gonna win in front of Slake and me. I don't get that because it's not that hard of a climb for some of the sprinters, but apparently it is. And yeah, I really want to talk about the uh, loser den stage today. I don't think Contador is gonna win this year either because. I was kind of disappointed, man, actually, because I thought he was gonna attack with, like, 4 kilometers left, but apparently he didn't feel so good, so he didn't attack, but for me, that isn't a, an excuse. <laughs> I think if you're one of the biggest names in the Tour of France, you at least deserve to give it a try, but he didn't. Well, maybe he did, I just didn't pay that much attention. I don't know. So, today, I think a breakaway is gonna win, like, yesterday. Like... Like uh, in the Pro Cycling Manager, and maybe oh, actually they they did win on a breakaway because can you call that that what Sanchez did a breakaway? Maybe and then an attack can you say? But <laughs> it's also an attack if Slake uh, because the door attacks. No, Val, we're gonna we're gonna use you first because you suck ass. Sorry to say, you weren't the money worth. Attack! For it's now or never for those riders who want to avoid a battle over the last few kilometers. An attack is launched! Oh my god, get in the front, please, Chris Anger. So, you yeah, actually, yeah, actually watched them attack. So, at the this moment. This rider is looking to break away. Oh, the Nilsen is attacking. He's actually pretty good in the Tour of France at the moment. He's in the top 10. With Jensen, du Duke, Angels, There's no and Benotti. Mangel. So, is Angon. <laughs> We're gonna see. See you guys when something interesting happens. Pace. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Cat just suffers the puncture, but it's way, way, way too long a way for me to try to, to set, uh, what's it called? Some tempo, but maybe. This is evil. This is evil. I think that Lippa Trek is setting the tempo high. Oh my god, isn't he at the second place or something like that? Uh, yeah, yes, he's two minutes behind. Oh, he's long way behind too. He doesn't got a chance at all. I don't think. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> so uh, are they riding for the breakaway or for Evans? That's what I'm kind of interested in because when they get 
when they get the breakaway, are they gonna stop? That's a big question. So now they are all, they almost have the breakaway, but oh, they're attacking again. Uh, Martin Valle goes. Gotcha. Oh, but I, I'm. This is fucking interesting. I really don't hope. As I was about to say, I really don't hope that he gets up, but he did. He did. That's too bad for me, but if he had if he had punctured like this, I could set I could set some power, but he didn't. Now I want to get in the front, please. Are they still trying? Oh. But yeah, this isn't drag. This is dragging on a little bit too long. I'm gonna come back with something There's more interesting. In we are now getting close to the second mountain sprint, and sorry for not recording the first one, but it wasn't really exciting at all. It was just the peloton riding in front of it while Monkey Chi and Seven Chevnel trying to attack, but Leo Patrick was riding way, way too fast at the moment. Oh, at the time too, but I think Chevnel is gonna try to attack now with Monkey Chi. Oh, there he is, Monkey Chi. So, are they gonna attack? Oh my god, I hit when I push the wrong button. Yeah, Monkey Chi is trying to attack. And where is Chevenil? He says, though he couldn't follow. Or could he? No, he could not. So, at the moment, Jeremy Coppell thing it is, is, is leading the jersey. And, like, the, yeah. He's leading it with, oh, Jürgen Van der Brugge actually got the 40. End of the breakaway. The pack gave them no chance. If you would let me speak, they would have a chance. <laughs> but Jürgen Van der Brugge actually got 40 points on that stage to, uh, yesterday, so... It's gonna be quite interesting to see who wins this jersey because it, you normally it's a French man and I don't think it's gonna be this time because I think it's gonna be one of the GC riders and Frenchies don't got any GC riders. Oh no, we need to get some water before the big mountain. We're into the second half of the race. The riders are going to be more and more on their guard. It's actually fun to see like the green jersey and the yellow jersey have the same o owner from like the second stage, I think it is. So maybe we're gonna set a record. <laughs> See you at halfway up this mountain. So we are now in the we are actually in the same group before the sprint, and Pitaki is gonna go for it. And where's Wizard? That's a, that's interesting. Wizard don't want to ride for it, so Pitaki is gonna get it, but he's not gonna get the green jersey. Oh my God, Cavendish, you are late. Oh, Pitaki just took 20 points on you. That's bad, Cavendish. I don't think I got. Oh, he took 15. I think it is. But yeah, then, but that was bad time because now you're using yourself up. Now he This climb features <sighs> some dreadful percentages. Come on, Vembo, please get up. Get up, Vembo. Where are you? They need the water. They need the water. The water is what I need. <laughs> Copyrighted for my own song. Even though it's not a song, it's just more like a parody. <laughs> because it's me singing. <laughs> So, Vambo is getting up. Good, Vambo. Get up to Casador, please. He's the only one who actually just needs the water. Good, Vambo. Good. <laughs> so, we, we haven't had a breakaway yet. That's actually the first stage, I think. So, and we are just riding, like, really slowly. And we're using the valve because we, I want to stay in the front. And this camera angle is pretty annoying. I'm gonna change it. So. It's no in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. Yeah, but no one's falling off. Oh, maybe. But it's not that hard. Like, it's not... I could use my riders to try and make something happen. Because... Otherwise, it wouldn't happen. Should we try to mark the other guys? So... Okay, Contador, you're not supposed to go that high. <laughs> okay, maybe Novalo's had his day, and then we're gonna use him instead because he's the best rider we got. So he will not be too dead. So Hernandez and him can just use themselves. Oh, Mon oh, I thought it was gonna be Evans. So this pace is this too hard? Oh. We are just using our 
team rise up. Oh, we ha we cracked the peloton. Woo! Mission succeeded. Now Chris Angersonson just needs to use his powers. Uh, do do three kilometers. Oh my God, we actually cracked the peloton pretty hard, and now we're making some gaps. Great job, guys! Great job. <laughs> this is actually Navarro is doing all the job to be this honest. This is the last third of the race. The team leaders have their minds fixed on today's goal. Rochi is attacking now. <laughs> but no one wants to follow him. It's the first attack we have on this day, so it's 50 kilometers before the goal. Uh, before the finish line. The riders are in a portion above 10%. So thanks for the work you did today, Hernandez. I'm proud of you. Now you can have a rest day. Oh my god, you're in the last group. We are not gonna lose another guy. We are not gonna use <laughs> lose another guy. So, because the dog can work on his own, to be honest, after this, because there's no real hard mountains. Now, Van Brugge's attack. Yeah, he is. But he's still five minutes behind. That's Samuel Sanchez. There's a rider trying to break away from the bunch. It's not like it's not the worst enemies because they got more time than me. And we still got Chris Angus just doing a little bit of work. Now we sh oh no, there. So if we just spare Chris Angus oh my god, I'm just showing too much. I'm gonna get back in the bunch, and uh, in the end. Oh, failed. I don't know if what I recorded. Oh no, I did again, I think. Maybe I, I forgot, forgot to record. There are just five kilometers left. Please get up to Slag. He's getting too much time. He cannot take time on the finish, so if we get him to at least be in this group. Yeah, we're getting on to him. It's hard being like the guy who needs to take care of everything. Oh, who's winning? Why is it slowing down? We are not at the end yet. Well, fail. Slow motion. There goes the sprint. The strong men are giving their all. This one we are not winning. No, Slick is gonna take time again. Evans is there, so. Oh, we're not good in the mass sprint, but it's not. Oh, his leg is not getting time. Not this time. Who's gonna win? Oh, Frank's leg is gonna win. Can we beat Andy? Can we beat Andy? Contador, go, go. Evans is gonna win in front of Roger. At least this was not a, lo a loss. Evans is gonna win in front of Roger, Village, Wickens, Venukarovs, Frank's leg against Vogt. Damien Kunigo, uh, at least we're not losing time to Slag. Great stuff! Teamwork really paid off, and their sprinter brings home the bacon! The tail enders are still coming in. Congratulations to him. So now these guys can just relax. They can get into the computer. So, who's gonna be the last rider in today? It's gonna be. Oh! It's gonna be Peter Patsky. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be Peter Patsky. Patsky. <laughs> so today was not a victory, but it no, wasn't a loss either. Lights. Oh, just look at Anish leg getting overhauled. <laughs> Go to the race result, but I don't know what I recorded actually because I just noticed before. <laughs> so we got twenty. 22nd place and Andy got 20 play the 20th place so that's that's not bad and Catalans didn't get time at all at all so that was a victory today see oh this is stage gonna be fun see you guys later